Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to control a Siemens S7 PLC from an ESP8266 using Modbus communication. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss the next video. Thank you. This is the concept. I'm using a Siemens S7 PLC as a Modbus TCP server. Please watch my previous video about Modbus TCP server setup on Siemens S7 PLC for more details. I connect a tower lamp as output coil. This PLC connects to network using Ethernet connection. I am using ESP8266 as Modbus TCP client and it connect to network using Wi-Fi connection. I connect the PO to some buttons, and a DHT sensor. Using Modbus library, I send write function to control tower lamp in PLC, based on buttons trigger, and also write the DHT sensor result value into holding register in PLC. Since the PLC communicates using Ethernet, and the ESP uses Wi-Fi, the first step is to create a bridge between Wi-Fi and Ethernet to enable them to communicate with each other. This is the code for the ESP. For Modbus communication, I use the Modbus ESP8266 library. You can download the library from GitHub, and copy it to the Arduino IDE's library folder. Set the IP address of the PLC that acts as the Modbus TCP server. This is the DHT sensor configuration. Set the DHT output using GPIOD4. Set the three GPIO pins that will be used as input for buttons. Don't forget to place the pin configuration in the setup function. I'm using input pull-up, use ground as common in button connection. For the temperature and humidity values, I separate the integer and decimal values, which will then be divided into different holding registers address for the integer and decimal. The next step is the code to check the status of the three buttons. If a button is pressed, it will send a right coil command to turn on the light. Conversely, if the button is released, the light on the PLC will turn off. The next step is to upload the code to the ESP. Select the appropriate board, which is generic ESP8266 module, and choose the port connected to the USB port. Then, click the upload button to start the code upload. After the upload is complete, open the serial monitor to check the status of the ESP, such as humidity and temperature values, as well as button notifications when pressed and released. In TIA Portal software, click Go Online to view the real-time status of the PLC. This will allow us to monitor the values of holding registers and the status of each coil. Now, we can see that the temperature and humidity values read by the ESP from the DHT sensor will be written to holding registers. For temperature, I use holding registers 0 and 1, where I separate the integer and decimal values. For humidity, I use addresses 2 and 3. We can also monitor the status of coils connected to the output. When the button is pressed, the coil status changes to true, and when the button is released, the coil status changes to false. This is the current setup. 
On the project board, I have an ESP82-66, three buttons as triggers to control a tower lamp, a DHT sensor for temperature, and humidity sensing, and a PLC connected to the network using Ethernet. I can control the three lights on the tower lamp using these three buttons. When a button is pressed, the corresponding light will turn on, and when the button is released, the light will turn off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel. You can get the required file, I put link in video description. See you in the next video.